Jute is a plant fibre that's spun into strong, coarse twine. For traditional Basque espadrilles, the twine used is 3mm thick. The process begins with jute spools feeding an automated braiding machine. Its five bobbins move in a circular pattern to produce a neat braid measuring 18 millimeters wide by six millimeters thick. The braid immediately travels into a calibration machine which applies tension to make the dimensions uniform. Each espadrille sole is handmade. First, the braid is wound on a form that's more than a century old. The positioning of the metal pegs in the holes corresponds to the size of the shoe being made. The closer the pegs are to each other, the smaller the shoe size. After nine rotations for this shoe size, the braid is cut, then using a large needle, the end tied off. Wound braid is then placed into a press, which as we see here in slow motion, compresses it into the shape of the sole. In real time, this step takes just a couple of seconds. The sole is then picked up with a comb and fed to an automated sewing machine. Two large needles, one above, one below, simultaneously stitch all the way through the sole with thick jute thread, binding the wound jute braid. The machine sews more than 100 pairs of soles per hour. The espadrille's familiar jute sole is formed and sewn, but it's not quite finished yet it needs a protective layer of rubber to prevent it from wearing out. First, moulds are opened for the corresponding shoe size and are filled with colourless rubber granules. The jute soles are then placed on top. The mould is closed and placed in a press for six minutes. The press heats the mold to 150 degrees Celsius, melting the rubber granules. The liquid rubber spreads throughout the cavities, penetrates the jute fibers and vulcanizes, meaning it hardens and cures. This produces a four millimeter thick rubber outer sole to protect the jute inner sole. The espadrille's uppers are made from 100% cotton canvas. Here, a stack of 20 pieces is cut simultaneously. Traditionally, people wore solid black or navy espadrilles and white ones on Sunday. Today, these shoes also come in bright, colourful patterns. Each upper is comprised of a front piece and a back piece. The upper is sewn entirely by hand. A glove that has a copper cup built into the palm is worn to help force the large needle through the tough jute. After stitching the front and back pieces to the sole, they're sewn together along the sides. Finally, the toe is closed and reinforced with three rows of stitches. All this with strong thread made of braided cotton. This maker of Basque espadrilles uses only natural materials, even in the paper packaging. The rubber used for the soles contains no colorants, but it's infused with citronella, a fragrant plant oil believed to help repel mosquitoes. But I think my feet are capable of doing that all on their own.